A Pennsylvania Democratic representative has entered the debate when it comes to abortions and women's reproductive rights. Chris Rapp of Philadelphia says his law proposal would impact men the way no bill has before. Fox 43's Matt Mazel explains in this week's Capital B. Responsibility of inseminators? Undergo vasectomies? What's good for the goose is good for the gander. Real language in an actual proposal from a state lawmaker. And if you ask Philly Democrat Chris Rabb, he'll say it's no different than what women already deal with. It's somehow okay for the government to invade the uteruses of women and girls, but it should be off limits if you uh, propose vasectomies or anything that restricts the reproductive rights of men. Rabb's proposal would have men get vasectomies after their 40th birthday or following their third child. There are also $10,000 rewards for people who report those who don't comply. It's also satire. Rabb admits his proposal is absurd. He says he's doing it to prove a point. This is a double standard. There are no laws, not since 1865, I imagine, that regulate the bodies um, of men and boys. I believe the government is intruding too far into people's lives. Can't you make the same argument, though, when it comes to abortion laws? Very simply to me, that abortion is murder. Aaron Bernstein of Beaver County is among a number of Republicans who say Rab's attempt at satire is no joke. That's something that's done in, Ch in communist China and not something that we should even be considering here. Carlisle's Barb Glime is another. Posting on Facebook, Rab's bill is a nail in the coffin for personal medical freedom. She then declined our interview request. There are a lot of keyboard warriors out there, um, but the real cowards are the ones who are not prepared uh, to speak their truth. And then there's this issue. Rab knows his bill will never get introduced, and that's a problem for government activists like Eric Epstein. Both parties are guilty of political theater. It's silly, it's sad, it's stupid, it's a waste of taxpayers' money. And Epstein says it's nothing new in Harrisburg. A Fox 43 review of the 2019-2020 legislative session found that of the more than 4,100 bills introduced by state lawmakers, more than 3,400 never made it out of committee. That's 81.5% of all legislation either ignored or cast aside. The danger in this is that it will provoke a nonsense response from the other side, wasting even more money and more time. The caucus leadership authorizes this. Cut off the caucus leadership slush funds, and then you cut off this kind of nonsense. Do you regret bringing that forward at all, if, if that, knowing what the reaction is in hindsight? No, this is the price of leadership. With your Fox 43 Capital Beat, I'm Matt Mazel.